What's up, guys? What's well, up, Lizard back again? Welcome to part 83 of Let's Play Scott's Arcadia Legends. Here comes another freaking damn you! Like I said, not that it matters, because I'm not using magic! Yeah! And how can you silence somebody that's already been silenced? Right? Hmm. Whatever. Doesn't matter, because you're all dead. We did it! Moonberry FTW. One more, and I'm teaching Vice his last move. Which we all know what it is, if you've played this game. One of the most destructive moves in the game. As soon as I make a move. Okay, water. I know Civil and Bane somewhere around here. I just gotta find them. I thought there was a ramp or something up here. You know what? I better heal up if I'm gonna fight Civil and Bane. Something tell me he's like right above me. Can I get it? WTF! I did not walk into a treasure chest, so this is not fame! Let me make sure. That's what I thought. Excuse me. Oh, Simple and Bane! I know you're around here! Show yourself. Come up wherever you are and all that crap. Hmm. Maybe I, wait a minute. I've already been up there. Get back in the water. There was a hole. A hole that I do not think we have traversed. Make sure I'm not hallucinating. That's where I got out of the water. I think up there is where I got in the water. So I want to go in this direction. I guess. Maybe. Will it get us somewhere? Maybe. You are so... Aha! That's what I thought. I see a treasure chest up there, and I'm about 95% sure that's Zippel and Bane. Na na na! Let's battle. Now, yeah, we all know the routine. Fight Sibyl and Bane, steal his treasure. He's gonna use first. It's gonna hurt, probably. But he will still die. Get him. I think it's the first time I've used Royal Blade on Sibyl and Bane. Could be wrong. <laughs> Didn't do that much, but still, did something. Why are you throwing knives at Fina? What did she do to you? Why are you still throwing knives at Fina? What did she do to you? You know what? I can feel like guard, because I'm about 90% sure he's going to use first. He usually does on the second turn. Thought so. Looks like he's aimed for Aika. Seems he used first, seemingly every other turn. That's why it's useful to take him out as quickly as you can. Why are you still throwing noise at Fina? Stop throwing knives at Fina! How would you feel if Fina threw a knife at you? What would you do, huh? Knife? Yeah. Huh, whatever. Over there. And he throws another knife at Fina, who is an inch from death. She gets hit one more time, she's dead, yo. Same thing, both of you guard. See? Knew that was coming. And guess who she's aimed for? 
nice knowing you, Fina. You didn't stand any of it, shit. I'm so sorry. You've been sorry about 15,000 <laughs> times. Whatever. Enrique, go and kill. Thank you. We are victorious. Let's take care of Civil and Bane again. We get a magazine and a windsong orb. Healing time. Now, I will meet you in the area where the next switch is. So I'm trying to save as much time as I can. Ken! God damn it. Alright guys, we're getting there. We're almost at the spot where the last switch is. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Now, in this area, look down before you decide to go down because one of these has a ledge you can... One of these has a straight ledge you can jump on. And you know what? Ah! Quackers! Okay, that took care of them. Both shields that was are very useful in that fight. As I was saying, look down before you decide to jump. Otherwise, you find yourself slowly trying to head back. But I think I found the right one. If I didn't, clappers! Jump down, and we landed on something. Yep, we're in the right spot. There's the last switch. You know, I think there's been one occasion which I've run into a battle underwater. I can't remember how, but I'm pretty sure it happened. And there we go. We got all the switches. Now we gotta head back up. So I'll meet you back on the surface. On to the surface we are, and now we have to head for the middle room. This is, of course, where we began this little endeavor in Mount Kazai. Because now... God damn it! And down... We... Go... a lot of breath out of me. <laughs> what the frick? But, we just got a little bit more of this dungeon to go. That was the quickest suit chain I've ever seen, Vice. Or whoever was in that frickin' suit. I'm not left one. Cham! Jam, get jam, jam, gimme, gimme, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Use, thank you very much. Use that jam, do it, do it, do it. No transformation for Cupid, but that's okay. Treasure chest, treasure chest is right there, what's in it? Goddamn battle, excuse me. And that takes care of them. All of them. An utter victory. Experience for us. Nothing new. Now what's in here? Oh, freaking yes! Four Moonberry. Do it. We've got Vice's last move, Pirate's Wrath. Vice unleashes the wrath of the air pirates on a single enemy for devastating damage. And I will show it to you in the next battle. Even if I have to use it on somebody very, very small. You know what? What a perfect target! Our little mini bosses of this area, the Alice Spheres. Of course, can't use it yet because it requires 21 spear points to use. So let's just fight these guys, but do be very careful because of their ability. To attack defense down you, and
and or petrify you. I might have to show the in the next battle. Because of my lack of time right now. In the next video, that is. Okay. Is he dead? No, he might still be alive. Knowing my rotten luck. Of course he's still alive. Thanks, Lena. Come to drain. Impraega. Good thing he missed. Another drain. Aim for... Uh, Enrique? Yeah, and he got him. Till next time, guys, BSL out.